going to be tough. Do what you really can. And if you're stepping up to an intermediate level, just take your time, break it down, take breaks, no problem, just do what you really can, all right? And um, won't be that kind of move. Okay, good. So we'll start off for our little warm up, okay? So we're going to start side arm to the mat like so. We're going to do some lunges with some squats, okay? So you combine the two, all right? So what I'm going to do is on my left leg, I'm going to do a forward lunge, a reverse lunge, and a squat. Then switch to right leg, forward lunge, reverse lunge, squat. And that's one rep, and we're going to do 10. Are we all ready? Let's go. Left forward, left reverse, squat. Right forward, right reverse, squat. Keep going. Forward, back, squat. Change, forward, back, squat. Excellent stuff. Forward, back, squat. Forward, reverse, Squat. Keep going. Keep going. Get your rhythm. And when you're squatting, you want to drop the knees. Drop the knees to the floor, whichever side you're on. Keep going. I'm going to mute everybody there. Someone's a bit unmuted. Sorry. <clears throat> Excellent stuff. Okay, so we finish down, we're going to do one more on each side. For the squat, and the right, for the left, for the squat. Excellent stuff. And shake that out when you're happy you're finished. So that's the other legs warmed up, I'd say. Okay, so we're coming to the end of my mat, coming to the end of the tether. And I'm just going to do my walkouts, back extensions, into pipe, okay? So I'm going to walk here. Back extension, hike, plank, walk back in for five. All right, so walk in, back extension, hike, plank, and in. Three more, nice and steady, take your time, we're going to do these spots. It's just about working through the hips, the shoulders, the wrists. And then two more again. Drop the hips. Push them up to the ceiling. Get the head between the arms. And walk back in. And last one. Walk out. Drop the hips. Pike up. And back in. Excellent stuff. Okay. So from here, we're going to walk out. You can follow me on this one, everybody. We're going to walk out to the bike. We did this the last couple of sessions. Straight arm plank, bring my left foot into the center. I'm going to bring my two hands up to the ceiling and hold. So you can drop your back knee if you need to. Bring your left hand around and rotate to me. Beautiful. Right hand down, left hand down. Bring the left foot back. Now you're going to bring the right foot forward. Two hands up. Stay low, get low. You want to drop your back knee again. Right, swing around to the right this time. Lovely, hold your balance. Left leg down, or left hand down, sorry. Right hand down, slide it back, walk it in. Very nice. Good stuff if you're able to maintain that one. So we're going to do a little burpee uh, variation. Not fast, but slow, okay? So we walk it out. Left leg on the outside of my left hand. Right foot on the outside of my right hand. I'm going to start. <laughs> Come back down and bounce it back. Walk it in. So we try five here because there's a few people so let's do that one again. Let's walk it out. Left leg, right leg, stand. Ah, better now. Two hands down, jump back. Walk it in. Excellent. Let's go. Walk it out. Left hand, right leg, stand. Back down, hop back, walk in. Lovely. One more. Walk it out. Left, right. 
Stand. Down. Half out. Walking in. Perfect. Okay, so if you're through with those, we're going to do 10 of the hops without coming in and out, all right? So it's going to be hopping your feet to the outside of your hands 10 times, okay? So down, walk it out. So from here, I'm going to hop my two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out, all right? I'm going to hop them in, I'm going to the outside of my hands for the second ago. And we're doing 10. That's it, keep going. Finish out your 10. Two. And one. And walk it back in. Good stuff, everyone. So we're nice and warm, are we? <laughs> Alright, good one. Okay, so I'm going to stay kneeling. <clears throat> so I've got my feet nice and straight. I'm trying to keep my shins flat on my mat. I'm all nice and tall, and I'm just going to lean back and lean forward. Okay? So, from the forwards, you might remember these. And back in. So, you can imagine you've got your ropes in front of you, you're leaning back and coming forward. Okay? So, give me a few of those. Go back as far as you want, alright? And one more. Excellent. Now we're going to turn our little sizes, okay? So watch me first if you, if you haven't done it before. Arms out, I lean back, left hand comes around onto my left ankle, and I bring my right arm up and over to the side way for a twist. Right arm comes back, left arm comes over. And we're going to switch. Right there, left over. Come back through. One more on each side, left. Right over, back through, right, left over, back through. Excellent job, beautiful. Okay, on all fours. Gonna cat the dog stretches. Just a couple of those. We'll try and some nice bit of mobility work every now and then. Good stuff. Back to neutral with the lower back. We're going to swim with our left arm, right leg fully extended, laying it through the hand and the foot, bring it back in. Bring it out and stand. Bring it back in. Good work. Keep going. Keep that belly drawn in. Nice and long, smooth transitions, everyone. Good stuff. Couple more. And I'm going to do one more on my right. On the right. And now I'm going to go back left arm, right leg. Elbow to knee for my crunches. And back in. Okay? Now you have, obviously you might, your knee might pass your elbow. So you get a real cool crunch through those abs. You need 10 on the left and 10 on the right. So you really want to see those abs crunch as you do this. I'm going to do two more, and then one more, good stuff, then I'm going to change sides, right out, right to left, again, real crunch, now come on, your head should be tucked under there, you should be crunching, crunching, you should be tucking under yourself there, good stuff, two or three more, best to see the camera. Now, one more. Good job. That's it. Sit back, stretch that out. Okay. So from here, we're doing the side crunch, but we're doing it on all fours. So I'm going to extend my left leg out. And I'm going to bring my left leg around to nearly crunch off the shoulder as I twist and crunch to my left. But see how high my left knee is staying. My left knee does not drop to the floor. I'm almost aiming for to hit my shoulder, and then I'm crunching my shoulder towards my knee. So you should feel a huge crunch through your obliques. Three more. So really exaggerate that crunch. Two more. And one more. 
Perfect. Good. Let's change side. You set it wrist to be to so now I've got my right leg fully extended. And I'm bringing my right knee to my right shoulder. As I look around to get a lovely crunch through those obliques. Like I said during the week, summertime now, you can get rid of those little handles, all the way the obliques. <laughs> and the lycra. Five stuff, three more. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Two more. And one more. Excellent job. Sit back, stretch it out. Shake out the wrist, and then you need to do. All right, good work, everyone. Back onto our hands and knees. Extend the left leg, extend the right leg. So from here, we're just going to keep those shoulders up back and down. I'm going to lift my left leg, lift my right leg. Okay? Ten times. Stay really strong, really strong. Good stuff. Well done. Just ten of them. Shoulders cut back and down. If you need to, you can do these ones on your elbows. Alright, so we're doing a few versions of this. You can do them on your elbows if you need. So when you've done your ten straight, stretch it out, shake it out. Okay, so we're going back into that position again. This time I'm bending my left knee and posting my left leg up to the ceiling. So my knee stays at 90 degree angle. And I'm balancing on the toes of my right leg for 10. That's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely. Shake it out, have a little break. So if you can do these with that right leg, the next straight, you have to make straight your flying. If not, do it on your knees. Okay, so let's go back out into that one again. Shoulders tucked back and down. This time I'm bending my right knee 90 degrees. And lift it up and down to the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Super stuff. Shake that in. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Elbows. Elbows. So again, you can do these on your knees if you need to. No, can't. Right, right, let's all do them on our knees. Let's start with them on our knees. So we're going to do them on our knees. Okay? Just so we get the use to the, the connection you need to make. So, onto my knees for my plank. Draw my belly button in. Slide my left hand out and back. Slide my right hand out and back. Okay? So I'm just switching. But what I don't want to see is you're shifting your body weight from side to side. Okay? Do not move your body weight from side to side. Just slide your hand down along the floor. Stay on your knees, everyone. Because we're going to try to on our toes. That's what we don't want to do. You don't rock from side to side. You really feel how you have to kind of push through your knees, engage your core. One more. Good stuff. Sit it back, stretch it. So we're going to try the same thing. But we're going to be on our toes if you can. Are we ready? Feel just a warm up, that's <laughs> oh, yes. Right, so I'm on my toes. <laughs> Draw that belly button in. Bring the floor, tap the floor in front. Tap the floor in front. Give me about eight or ten. Stay strong. Try not to rock from side to side. You can cheat by widening your feet to the sides of your mat. Good stuff. Four, three, two, one, and done. Excellent stuff. Shake it out. Okay, so that's the planking stuff all the way. How are doing already? Doing strong. There might be some of that later, you never know. Okay, flip around. <coughs> so I'm up nice and tall. Sitting on my sit bones. I'm just going to roll back a little. And roll back up top. Okay. Trying to keep a nice straight back when I'm back up top. And then down again. 
Good job. So I'm really just rocking off my sit bones onto my tailbone. And then we're going to go further. So arms out straight. So I think we did it last week or during the week here. We're going to try and do five reps to work our way down, right? So I go down, pause, come back up. And on the next one, I'm going into lower. Or a vertebrae or two up. And back up. I'm taking about five reps to get down flat. Look. Lovely. And again, a bit lower. There is that tense point where you just pause on it. It's a dumpy. And then I'm going to go one more and I'm going to lie down flat. All right? We got that. Arms over the head. Okay. So from there, then to it straight. We're just going to do some nice full roll up. So take a break in. Arms up, chin to chest, roll up nice and slow, control the top. And really imprint your lower back into the mat, come up everyone, come on, keep going. Oh, looking at me. And again, keep going. So really imprint your back at this stage, push it into the floor to get yourself back up. And that fires up those abs. One more down. Good job. Now we're going to try and get back up again. In five efforts, are we ready? So the first one is kind of looking head and shoulders up off the floor and back to it. You can bend your knees to make it tougher or keep them long. Breathe in, exhale, come up a little bit higher. Ooh. Try not cheat, I was cheating there. And then push up again and lower again higher. Whoa. Take it slow, be hard and easy. Take it slow. Up one more. And then last one all the way up. All the way up for me. Excellent stuff. Perfect. And relax. Yeah, anyone doing that at all? I'm so happy to also be All right, back on our elbows, hands flat. <laughs> so we're going to do our flutter kicks. Okay, so from here, I'm going to start my legs. You can take the top of the booty slide on your back if you feel it's more comfortable. Extend the legs, we're just going to kick them up and down like we're swimming. Kick them up and down like you're swimming. So my knees are straight and I'm moving from my hips. Get them lower if you can, lower if you can. If you think you're able to come up onto your hands, have them by your side and you're just on your hands now, not on your elbows. Ten. Now I get them low. Let's go further, don't be mad. Five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Hold that out, stretch it out. Okay, so you're going to come back onto your elbows. I'm going to switch up to the hands halfway through this one. So, same thing, two legs at the tabletop. So, you're going to let your legs to the end of the left and extend them. And then we're going to arc them over and back. As close to the floor as you feel you go. And feel comfortable. Again, you can lie on your back and do these. And then halfway through it, pop up onto those hands if you can. <laughs> four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, center, and back down. Give it a hug. Well done. Okay, so from here, extend your left leg. And let's switch. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that left leg out there. Hold the left leg out. Let's pulse it. Let's pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Let's circle the left leg. Try and keep everything else still. You're just circling that left leg. Keep your neutral pelvis there. Switch it back and go away. Five, don't let anything else move. Come on, four, three, two, one. Change legs. Pulse the right now. Hold it out there. It's just pulsing. Five, four, three, two, 
Oh, circles, circles. Well, it's harder to control this side. I'm all over the place. And then don't run away with your circle. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back in. Good stuff. Quick stretch. And let's go again. Number 20. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff, guys. Well done on those. <coughs> Feet flat on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Hands behind the head. Let's go for ten tummy crunches. I'm keeping a nice neutral pelvis. And you should absolutely feel those abs now. I can feel a sharp dart of pain in mine. Keep going. Five more. Remember with these, we're cradling our head. We're keeping our neck relaxed. And we're using our abs to do the heavy lifting. Okay. Straight into the tabletop. Keep going. Ten of them. Keep those elbows wide. Don't be pulling the head up. Keep the elbows wide. That's it. Remember, you should have a neutral pelvis in this position as well, everyone. Knees together. That's it. So when you've done your 10, keep going. Extend the left leg when you crunch. Extend the right leg when you crunch for 10. Keep going. Left crunch. Right crunch. Well done. Four more. Two more. And one more. All right. Well done. They're not easy. Okay, so we're going to do two types. I'm going to give you a choice of two types of coaches because these ones can get your neck. All right, so they're a side coach. So you can either do the one we've been doing for the last one. Left hand by your head, by the back of your head, right hand by your side, and you're crunching and reaching for your right ankle. Or you can stay up, head and shoulders off the floor, and you reach for your left ankle, and you reach for your right ankle. Okay, so we're going to do 20 of them. If you're doing the hand behind the head, do 10 on the, on the right, and 10 on the left, reaching for the ankle. Are you ready? Let's go. So whichever option you want, depending on your neck. This is all to help protect the neck. I want 20 side to side. Neutral pelvis. Keep going. Keep going. Good stuff. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax back down. Stretch it out. Well done. Okay, so arms out to the side. Feet and knees together. And we're just going to let those knees fall to the right as you look to the left. And then pick up the knees, take them out to the left as you look to the right. Excellent. So let's just keep going. Nice and slow and controlled. We'll go to the heart and then we'll let them out of You can wait. Good stuff. Now, from here, I'm going to go to take on top. Same thing. Over and back, nice and slow and controlled. So you want to be lowering the weight of the legs to the floor, watching the shoulder blades, trying to keep the knees together. You can never go as far to the left as the hands on the right. And then one more, and then if you're happy with it, we're going to extend those legs out straight. And let's do our window wideners. So you lower your feet to the side, squeeze the lift, and over you go. So you bring your arms out to a T position there for more support. And you're going over and back. You want to make them harder. Go lower with the feet. Go lower with the feet. There you go. So you're smaller arc. One more. Take it back in. Give it a little hump. All right. Lovely. Last. Add one for the moment. We're going to do our hundreds. I'm going to spin around and stay there. We'll see the clock. <clears throat> All right. So we'll do the minutes. 
15 seconds, feet on the floor, 15 seconds, tails on 30 seconds, leg extension in our hundreds. Are we ready? So from your hips, shoulders up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. So nice and relaxed, okay? You don't want to have a neck sore. So just keep breathing. Okay, so lift the tables up. Off you go. Keep pulsing. Nice solid tabletop. And take these as far as you want to turn for the leg extension. So we're going to be doing 30 seconds. But you can take it right if you want. Okay, extend those legs. Feet into a Pilates V. Keep going. So 30 seconds. I'm going to shave them right out of way. If you want to take them back to the uh, tabletop. Keep breathing. That's it. Halfway. One break. And it's not stick with it. Keep going. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Five seconds. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Excellent stuff. I'm not sure if that's longer than counting the hundred or not. All right, perfect. Okay. So sideline stuff now. Have a drink if you want. I'll give you a sec. Love it. Okay. So I'm going out to my side. So we're going to throw in a few surprises along the way. Take whatever breaks you need to stretch out your shoulder and try and follow me, okay? So I'm on my right side. You want to keep up with the way it shows on the screen, right? So now, body is straight, feet tucked behind me, up and over I go. Four of these, nice and simple. Make sure that elbow's under the shoulder. I'm looking at your back. Let's stop one more. Beautiful. Very nice. And then we'll come up onto my hand now. So keep the hand close to the hip. So when you're up and over, it's underneath you. A nice amount anyway. Good stuff. Four of these. And one more. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to go to the full one. So get this right, right hand far away. Left hand on my knee, left foot turned up. Up I go, we drive it through my left foot. If you're on the same side as me. And back there, give me four. Lovely guys, no one fall over. Nice and strong now. Really think about that hand. Under, you're doing a lot of the work to stabilize. Next one, we're gonna spin, and then we're going to right surprise. Up we go, hold it, spin. Hike, back up, one more. Hike, back up. All right, let's turn onto the straight arm blind position. Let's go with 20 marathon timers. One, two, 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 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Nice. Switch sides. You're going back onto your left, 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 if you can follow me. <coughs> Get that elbow under you. Open up your go four. Good stuff, well done. Make sure that elbow's underneath you again, that yeah, will work. Nice and steady. Well done. Up onto the hands. Open over. Very nice. Exhaling as we're coming up, remember. So if your heart rate's a little bit higher now after those mountain climbers, control the breathing. Well done, that's four then. Get that left hand away. Right hand up on the knee. Right foot driving into the floor. Up we go. Perfect. And back to exit. So you want to scissors those legs in and out. Good stuff. Two more, then we're going to point and twist. So one more, last one, up you go, one more, up you go. Let's point, you don't have to wait for me, everyone. Just work through your floor, and then finish with your bikes. 
All right, go back in again, back in again, and those four small three nine times. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, back onto your other side. Just be glad I'm not staying on the same side, lads. Trust me. Okay, so I'm back on my right now, all right? I am. I'm up onto the side plank now. Yeah, on my elbows. Elbow. Lift me top knee up and down. Make sure this shoulder is cut back and down and right up. Stay strong. Keep looking straight. Don't look at the floor. Ten of these. Good stuff. And when you've done your 10, stretch your shoulder. We're going to be doing 30, so stretch it in between each time, guys, so don't destroy it. Okay, so do the same thing. This time your legs long and heavier. Open down. Good and strong through that shoulder. Now, come on, you should feel these obliques now. Really burning for you. We've done lots of crunches, we've done lots of oblique work. They should be solid now. Switch it on really nice. Two more. And one more. Good stuff. Let you know. Okay, back onto the other last time. <coughs> now I'm going to show you this one because I don't think people can see it well enough. Legs straight. Bring it up to hip height. We bring it forward and tap it off the floor. Swing it around and tap it behind you. So I'm tapping it forward, tapping it back. And we keep the legs straight. The angle is straight. All right, 10 times, forward, back, is two. Well, five if you know what I mean. Keep it tight now, the upper body should be moving. We'll do four, three, two, one, done. Good job. So that's kind of a bit of a control one. <coughs> All right, some tall ones. <coughs> so same three sets. Are we ready to on your right elbow now? While we're left, sorry. So shoulder, right shoulder should be really, left shoulder should be really strong. Open down with that right leg ten times. Keep that core really nice and switched on now. Three, two, one. Good stuff. If I'm not counting correctly, just count yourselves. Because I don't can't talk and count at the same time when I'm at. Alright, good stuff. Up you go again. Top leg straight. Lock it in. Really good connection. Up and down we go with that top leg now. There should be no movement to your hips. If you're finding it too difficult, you can rest your hips on the mat. That'll make it even tougher hopping up and down, but do that next time. Okay, so three, two, one, lovely stretch. I think this is going to hurt already. It is burning. Okay, are we ready? So this is the leg forwards and backwards. All right, so I'm up, leg is hip height, tap forwards, tap backwards. Two, three, but you're keeping that body really still. Slow and control, you're making an arm with your leg. Over and back. Four, three, two, one. And oh my god, your left hip is going to blow off. And stretch your legs. Brilliant stuff. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Up you get, guys. Kneel it. <coughs> So more, <coughs> excuse me, you're probably going to be thrown. Coming down, it's not the same one. Okay, so I'm going to drop to my right, left, left, left. Drop over, do my little kick, take it in, and down. All right, so remember these, drop over, do the kick, take it in, and down. So just give me four to each side.
One more to really kick and in and back. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, I'll show you what I want us to do. We're going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to take it up, hand on my head, and extend my left leg, tap it down, take it up, pull it in, lengthen out, tap it down, take it up, pull it in with a crunch. Okay, so 10 of them, up and down, and you're counting your crunches. Okay, got that? So extend the leg, tap the floor, back to extension, and in. Up and down, and in. Up and down, and in. Keep going, 10 of them down. You're going to do three more. Two more. The last one. Good stuff, well done. Back hip on the support leg first, isn't it? Okay, I'm going over to me right now. <coughs> Left hand on my head, extend my leg. Tap it down, take it up, crunch. Tap it down, take it up, crunch. Ten of these, down, up. Crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch. Here you go, three more, two more, and one more. Excellent stuff. <laughs> They're burning, aren't they? <laughs> All right, sit back on your heels. Let's just do a little bit of child pose to the right side. We'll put this a few times. So we're just opening up that hole with the left side by bringing our hands over to the right side. Then take those hands to the middle. Stretch it out a little bit more. And take those hands to the other side. So, okay, so we're just going to try a proper side plank on the hand, straight legs, no knees. So let's see what you can do. We'll hold for 10 seconds, then we'll try a few variations of that. Alright, so see what you can do. If you really don't feel you're strong enough, just do them on your knees again, okay? So, got my hands on my hips, I'm onto my left side again, so I'm on my left hand, slide an elbow bend, my right leg's out straight, and I'm going to straighten the leg underneath and just hold. Just for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 10. Okay, good stuff. Well done. We switch it. We shake out that one I just used. So I'm going over onto my right now. Straighten my leg and make sure your hand is ready. Slide out the bend. Really grip the mat with your, hand, with your fingers. Swing out that other leg. Let's go. Ten, nine, hands should be under your shoulders, everybody. Four, three, two, one, and down. Good stuff. Stretch it out. Okay. Slight variation. This time, I've done this in the before. I'm going to keep those ten sides in this that right. I'm back on my left. This time, my right leg stays straight, left leg stays bent. And I lift the left leg up and down to join. My under leg is lifting. Ten times. Stay strong. The top leg should be straight. My name, Jim. Push it. Three, two, one. Lovely. Shake it out. Only five more minutes left, guys. Well done. You survived. You survived. So same thing again, now really use your right hand, make sure it's strong, like you're gripping the mat, left leg straight, pick up that lower knee ten times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. And stretch it out, well done. Good stuff. If you don't have strong wrists, you'll have them strong now by the end of this. Okay, we'll finish off with a couple of minutes of push-ups, just when we're all pre-crackers. And then we'll do a stretch down and then we're foot. Okay, happy days. Alrighty.
So we're doing a little series where I'm breaking down for you, okay? So we're going to do the lowering element first, then we're going to do the pushing element, and then we're going to combine the two together. Do them on your toes, or do them on your knees, or start on your toes and drop whatever you say to push, right? So, everybody should be starting here. So I'm in a straight line position with my knees on the floor. You either want to lift the knees off, and you slowly lower, or you do that with your knees on the floor. And then just get up whatever way is comfortable, reset, and see how slow you can lower. It's not how long can slow can you go. And your whole body hits the floor at the same time, unless you've got a big nose like me. All right? So that's it. Well done. So let's go again. Five of these. Slowly lower. Slowly, slowly, slowly lower. Perfect. Two more. Come on. Let's go, Alison. Good stuff. Keep that core tight. Don't bend in the middle. Don't bend in the middle. Well done. And last one. <coughs> This is the lowering part, stay strong, use your hands, use your hands and your core. Perfect, and then you can stay there. So now we're going to up this. So what I have here, hands are under the shoulders, bow to the sides. I'm going to pre-brace my hands into the mat and my core, and I'm going to push straight up off the floor. And then I'm going to get a nice easy. Breathe in, exhale, really press the hands into the floor. So really drive the hands into the mat. Keep those elbows in, keep back. Elbows in, back, sit, yeah, I can see you. Elbows in and push. Good stuff. Elbow, you can bring your hands forward when your shoulders a bit more, I think. Yeah, 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 they were too far back. That's a different type of push-up, pseudo push-up. Very hard. So these should be a dog. So all right, okay, so you're up. Couple more, push straight up. Last one, push straight up. Excellent, shake it out. Now we're going to combine the whole thing. Five of them, really good, really clean. Watch, watch, watch. This is the wrong, proper way to do it if you're on your toes. Okay, or on your knees. I'm not letting anything bend in the middle or bend in the middle, coming up or down. If you can only go to there and back up, but stay solid, that's what I want to do. Clean push ups. Let's go. Now move your body forward over your hands more. Come on. No, 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 move your knees. Go back. <laughs> Shoulders over your hands. Come on, get your arms forward. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Up and down for fire. Come on. Well done, Alan. Good stuff, Gillian. I'll do a push, push, push. How'd you go, Bernard? I didn't see any of yours. <laughs> I take your word for it, man. <laughs> All right, good stuff, everyone. That was a sweaty class, wasn't it? Perfect. Okay, sitting back on your heels, you'll be back, step inside, or come on, get you away from me. So I'm going to do some child balls and sort of walk forward. Very nice, hang there. Close my lips and breathe in and out through my nose. Nice and relaxed, breathing in and out through your nose. So calm down with your breath a bit. Elevate it, slow it down. And now open the knees a little bit wider in that position. Let that diaphragm drop. Good stuff. And then I'm going to bring my hips forward, drop them up forward, and bring them back. Keep going with those. So if you missed that, I did at the start. Simon and Steph are doing some classes now. So Steph is doing Monday nights, Tuesday mornings. Simon's going to be Thursday mornings. And I'll still be Wednesdays and Saturdays. And now let's walk our hands to our feet to stand. And if anybody needs any physio, you know where to find me. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. That's it for the weekend. Well done, bless you, I'll do. Repeat this tomorrow, I'll record it, so I'll post it.
won't be there today. The time. So from here, take a breath in, chin to chest, there we go. Pause at the bottom, push it through the feet, stack up through the spine. So post it in the Facebook group page, right? And again, drop down. And push up through the feet. And last one, take the breath in, chin to chest, there we go. Hang out there, just stay out to the left. Back to the middle, stay out to the right. Back to the middle, and push up through the feet, stack up through the spine. Let's just cross your left over your right, stretch those shoulders bit. You did a lot of shoulder bits there. And then change, you go the other way. Good. And then two hands come to the front and just push them away from you. And you can turn the hands over and then stretch them up to the ceiling. And then side bend to your left. Pick it back up to the top, stretch, 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 side bend to your right. Back up to the top, reach, stretch, 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 and release. Couple of nice deep breaths, take a breath in, and out. And again. And one more. 